Hey everyone, this is Chandra with Wild Root again. And today I wanna to show y'all how to make a natural insect repellent with our native American beauty berry. So right behind me, you can see we have the beauty berry bush and I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you how it's done. This right here is our American beauty berry. You can see that it is growing underneath of a magnolia tree. These plants are native to the Southeast. So you can see them all over Florida all the way from Texas up to the Virginia area. There are a couple different varieties, but this is actually a Calicarpa Americana. And you can see the little berries here. And those are gonna go on and turn a really pretty pink and purple. They're actually edible, so you could eat them. I have heard of people turning the berries into a jam. I don't know why you would bother though, because you have to put so much sugar in them to make them tasty, but the birds love them. So this is a really great plant to plant in your native landscaping. Let's see, we get a lot of mockingbirds and blue jays. They'll start coming around and they love to eat these berries. Yeah, it's really cool. This is a cool plant. I have a couple little babies started down there too. So they'll just go on and just start making, here's another one that's just kind of popping up in the wood. So the berries will make little plants and you can sprout, you know, just grow those and add them to your native landscape. I like a lot of plants in the South. This is a plant that's used medicinally. We're gonna actually make a natural mosquito repe repellent from the leaves and the leaves have been shown to be more effective than DEET. So you could actually, if you were out in the wild, you could actually just take like one of these leaves and just rub it on your skin. So you can crush it, crush the leaf like that, and then you can just rub it on your skin and it'd be a great natural repellent. But what we're going to do is actually make a spray from the leaves. So you don't use the berries or the roots, you use the leaves. But the whole plant is used medicinally. And like a lot of plants, what I was going to say, a lot of plants in the southeast or the south are great for conditions of heat. So clearing heat, that's what I think of with this plant. It's got a lot of antiviral, antibacterial, antimicrobial benefits. And you use different parts of the plant for these different things. see here I just cut a few leaves. I just want enough so that we can fill a large mason jar that we're going to fill with alcohol. So I usually get like a mix of small and large leaves. So you know younger and older leaves and you know you don't cut all the leaves from the same branch. Just kind of take them from different parts of the plant and we only take what we need. So the next part of making our natural bug spray is actually really simple. So all we're, all we're gonna do is take the leaves that we've already harvested and we're going to chop those up with some scissors and we're gonna place them in a 32 ounce mason jar. And I'm gonna be using 70% isopropyl rubbing alcohol, but you could also use vodka if you wanted to, 90% alcohol also if you can find that is also good rubbing alcohol rubbing alcohol is fine since obviously we're not going to be drinking this we're just going to be spraying it on us and I like it I like to actually put a little bit of vegetable glycerin because the alcohol can be very drying and the vegetable glycerin will help with keeping the skin soft
Hey everyone, we're back and it's been three or four days and our beautyberry leaves have been sitting for the last three or four days. We've been shaking them every once in a while. You can see they're getting really green, but we're gonna finish up our bug spray today. So what I'm gonna actually do is just take another mason jar and I'm going to put this little canning tool on top. You don't need that, but this will just help us from, help it from splashing all over the place. That's the only thing about this bug spray. It's better than DEET and you don't have all the toxic, um, you know, chemicals that are in there. The only problem is it, you're extracting the oils from the leaves and it has all that chlorophyll. So it's really green. I'll show you what I mean in just a second. So we're going to go ahead and strain this. These leaves, you can't probably see or hear it, but they've turned like really crunchy and brittle. Like all the good stuff has been extracted out of them. This smells really strongly by, like rubbing alcohol right now. As you can see, the leaves are really a pale yellow. Whoop, whoops, <laughs> they're a pale yellow. Okay, so we're done with that. I mean, you can see, you, can, you can't even see through this liquid. So I like to actually dilute this when I put it in my spray bottle. It's still gonna be very effective. I dilute it about 50%, but you could dilute it just like use a third or two thirds of the extraction with a little bit of water. You could, I'm gonna use filtered water, but you could actually use uh, more alcohol if you wanted to. So this is a bug spray that I make and I sell it in my shop. And I use these, this size bottle. I think this is four ounces, I think. Anyway, so I've got an empty one here. You can use any, any spray bottle that works for you. And let's see, let me get my funnel. It's a little hard to pour right from the mason jar, so I like to put a little bit of the formula into a measuring cup where you can pour a lot easier. I have a funnel, and we're going to fill this about halfway. And then I'm gonna fill the rest with my filtered water. And then you can add, um, I like to put about a half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of vegetable glycerin in mine. The alcohol is very harsh on the skin, so this helps soften it, keep the skin soft. Um, also helps it stick a little bit better to the skin. I'm just using a half a teaspoon. Again, you don't have to add this. This is just something that I add. And then you can put some essential oils in it if you want to. It's ready to go just the way it is. You don't even have to add the vegetable glycerin. I like to put eucalyptus and also citronella. 
but some other really good ones would be lavender or cedar wood. So you could just use about 10 drops of each per bottle. So right now I'm putting the citronella. And I'm actually out of eucalyptus. Oh no, I have a little tiny, but no, I'm just about out of that. So I'm gonna use, I have a lemon eucalyptus that I'm gonna use. It smells good. Put the lid on and we're just gonna shake that up. And it's good to go. So this is ready for your outdoor adventures. So this is one I've already made and I'll just show you real quick. It's already, It's been diluted a little bit, but I don't know if you can tell, it's got a little bit of a green hue to it. So you do wanna be mindful, you know, you don't want to spray this on light colored clothing cause it will stain, so. But if you just spray it on your skin or you can put it on your hand like I just did and then just rub it on, then you don't have to worry about it. Or if you're wearing dark clothing, you won't have to worry about it. Mm. Smells good. All right, happy outdoor adventures.